How's it going guys? We made it. 4,000 YouTube subscribers, 4,000 followers on Instagram. I want to say thank you to everybody who has followed my work for, you know, if it was the last week, month, or years. Uh, I appreciate you all equally. I've got a lot of really good items here. I'm going to do one large giveaway. Originally, I was going to do a couple giveaways. And uh, the way things were turning out, I adjusted some items and decided to focus all my attention, all my, um, you know, everything into one big giveaway. Um, and there's some really good items. So how does it work? Basically, you have to be a follower of mine on Instagram and you have to be subscribed to me on YouTube and I will check both of these. Um, and I'm gonna have everybody who wants to be considered for the, for the prize package drop a comment on YouTube. Um, I'm gonna say that again. It's not gonna be about a comment uh, um, that I'm going to share this clearly on, on Instagram and Facebook. It's not going to be who comments on those posts. It's going to be who comments on this video. Um, so without further ado, we will get into what we're giving away here. Okay, so again, we've got some really cool items uh, for this giveaway. Um, I think my first giveaway, I maybe had it all laid out on a table and everyone could see it all at once. And I'm going to do things a little bit differently this year. I have a helper with me. This is my daughter, Kyrie. Hi, I'm Kyrie. And she will be helping me show what we're giving away. The first item we'll be giving away is a hand carved spoon by me. This one is a skeletonized white birch spoon that is finished with dark half by the Real Milk Paint Company. This was a very, very tricky one to carve. Um, you could probably eat with it if you wanted to, but she's she's delicate. So this might be might be one of those wall hanger types. The second item is this spoon rack that I've made to put that spoon on. So if you want to just display it on the wall, uh, you can do that with this spoon and up to three more. It's got uh, oak pegs, and the main portion of it is made from eastern red cedar from the property here. And this will come with uh, mounting hardware as well. The third item, I've had a million people ask me if they can buy my templates, and I do not sell them. I don't, I don't make them personally, but through the Spoon Crank, uh, I do offer a couple designs, or rather Dio offers a couple of my designs. And because of that, I've purchased my own designs to give to you, whoever the winner is. So this is uh, my shovel design that I've carved for a few years now that um, I really enjoy uh, from a carving standpoint and from a using standpoint. Uh, these still have the film on them. They literally came in the mail yesterday. Um, so there's that one. And then this one. This kind of, uh, you know, oyster shell shaped cooking spoon which is one of my favorites. So hopefully whoever gets these will appreciate them because I've said no to people um, buying my design straight from me in the past and I will continue to do so with the exception of if you want to buy them from the Spoon Crank. Um, I offer three different things there, both of these spoons as well as a, um, a jam spreader design. The fourth item is three small items, but they're very important. Um, everyone asks me, what do you use to draw on Greenwood with? Well, primarily I use a Milwaukee ink saw, and it looks just like a Sharpie, but it will draw on greasy surfaces, wet surfaces, pretty much any surface. Um, these are what I use in my daily carving for the most part. Um, sometimes I'll need other ones, such as the Sola KB24 pencil. Um, I've been using these for years, uh, and these are great. They're a little more dialed in than the Milwaukee. You can generally get a finer line with these. Um, so I use these for, for some tasks that I don't use the Milwaukee for. And then there is the Sharpie Pro. And this also is, um, and it's chisel point. This also is meant for drawing on green wood or you know wet surfaces greasy surfaces and it does a great job this one creates a very bold line which i find handy if you've got if you've got a spoon design where let's say the neck's a little thin in your design if you 
trace it with a bolder marker, you automatically fatten that line. So that can be helpful for that. And also, you know, you can turn it sideways to get a finer line. So that's item number four. Item number five is one of my carving bibs. It's a no frills thing. It is leather, paracord, and a cord lock, and it just goes around your neck and is adjustable so that when you are carving your spoon, you can brace it against yourself without hurting your chest. And as well, it protects you from, pretend this is a knife, it protects you from hurting your chest with a knife as well. Um, I, I use these every time I carve a spoon. I love them to death. And I figure, why not offer one in the giveaway? Item number six is my last, I don't know how well you can make it out, probably not at all. This is my last Tiger's Eye Burnisher. And for those of you who saw my last video, which was specifically on burnishing, um, you'll know how handy these are. Uh, you can really, really up your game as far as your spoon finish goes with just a couple minutes of burnishing. So, and this one is a stunner. I very much doubt that you can see any of the detail on camera, but you'll have to take my word for it. So that is item number six. Item number seven. You could call it seven and eight, but I will call it one item total. These are my own personal hook knives from Robin Wood. Um, who owns wood tools. And the reason I don't just say wood tools is because these are original Robin Wood ones. Uh, I doubt that you can make that out, but right there on the handle of that one, as well as on the handle of this one, you can see that it's got the old logo on it. You cannot get these anymore. Um, do they perform exactly the same as the new ones? Probably. But from kind of a collector's standpoint, I think they're a big deal. Um, and these... Um, hook knife boxes I commissioned a friend of mine Dwight on Instagram to make for me and is kind of the inspiration behind you know all the boxes that I've made in the years since then um, these are made from Madrone I believe and I put the the pegs on with the little lanyards and those I think are carved from crab apple um, so each one of these will come with protection and you have his compound hook here and these are sharpened and ready to go. And then as well, you have Robin's open curve, more of a shallow hook. And I figured it would be nice to offer both of these because some people carve uh, one style of spoon and some people might carve others. And this should cover both bases for you. So two hook knives I'm giving away. Kind of a big deal there. Next up, this is item number what? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. seven. Item number eight, thank you. Is a set of my sharpening sticks. These things, I, I have sent so many of these out into the world, it would be a shame of me not to give a set away. Um, and you know what? You got, you got two new hook knives, so you should have a way to maintain them. Um, there is a little card on the inside here with a link to how to use them. Um, I've, I've got... I think two separate videos on my YouTube on, on showing how to use my sharpening sticks, one of which I did this year um, and is, is really, really helpful if you got any questions about it. So it's, it's a few, few videos back. Give that a check. Um, so there's that. Item number nine, made by my good buddy, Josh Whitehead from Greenhaven Forge. Um, I made the sheath out of birch bark. A brand new Sloyd by Josh, which is Got a flat over hollow grind, which should make sharpening very, very easy. And I bought one of these from Josh as well, and I've been using the heck out of it. And this thing is a beast. Uh, I think it's, don't quote me, but it might be three and a half inch, um, which is good for eaters and cookers alike. So one more time, there's that. I want to say thank you personally to Josh because Josh donated this to the giveaway. Um, everything else I've either uh, purchased myself or made. But Josh, out of the kindness of this heart, or out of his heart, um, sent this to me to to give to one of you guys. So much love to Josh. Thank you. The last, oh, second to last item, rather. No, third to last. Third to last? There's more. Is <laughs> one of Josh's uh, axes. 
And this is um, kind of his budget model. Um, I think he calls this the essential craft axe, possibly, which comes with a basic leather sheath to protect the edge and to protect you from it. It is brand new. It literally showed up in the mail today. I've been waiting to film this video because of that. I believe the handle is probably ash. And so that's kind of a big deal. Anybody who is sick of buying blanks or sick of using a hardware store hatchet, um, hopefully this goes to one of you guys, um, somebody that really needs it. And that being said, if if you are the winner of these items and there's something in here you can't use, please, please, please pass it on. Um, I'm, I'm shipping these items anywhere in the world. I, I will cover shipping. Um, and it will not kill you to take a couple dollars of your money and ship it to somebody that needs it. Um, so that being said, second to last item. Finally. Finally. Is my basic strop kit. And this basically is a way to take care of the Sloyd knife I just showed, as well as the axe and, and many of your other tools. Um, you can hone the outside of your hook knives with this as well. Um, there is a link on this piece of paper that you can follow that tells you exactly how to use this. Uh, basically, it's a, a paddle and a dowel with some um, Tormek honing compound, a shop rag, anti-slip mat, uh, etc. And that will that will keep your tools along with the, the sharpening sticks that I showed. That should keep your tools in tip-top shape. And last and not necessarily least, um, people are kind of envious of my, my sticker collection on my toolbox here. Here is a bunch of stickers from fellow carvers, woodworkers, blacksmith, friends of mine that I'm going to throw in as well. Um, so again, the rules are, you have to be following me on Instagram, you have to be subscribed on YouTube, um, and you need to drop a comment on this video, not on a post on Facebook, not on a post on Instagram, but down below on this video. Um, and basically just say that you're in. And the way we'll do it is, um, what's today's date? Um, the 14th. The 14th. One week from today, um, so this, this coming up Saturday, we will draw a name, we'll do a random number generator, and whoever is, you know, let's say it's the 56th person, whoever has the 56th comment will get all these items. I will, again, pay to ship them to you. I will reach out to you um, in some way, shape, or form to get your shipping information, and uh, we'll figure it out from there. So again, thank you for the years of support. Uh, for those of you who've been with me for a while, if you're newer, I appreciate your uh, current support. Um, I can't wait to see who's going to get these and what they're going to do with them. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.